Welcome to Clean Sports Tech Talk. I'm Nikolai Patterson. I'm EJ Yancey. And today we're going to be talking about um, why the different thicknesses of your cutoff wheel um, affect different aspects of the performance of the, uh, of the product. Um, before we get into anything else, um, EJ, what is important about the thickness of your cutoff wheel? Yeah, so when you, when you think about cutoff wheels, right, most people will think about uh, bonds, grits, all that different stuff when you're talking about abrasives. But a super important thing about cutoff wheels is how thick they are. Gotcha. Because thickness can affect the cutting speed and it can affect the, the cut itself. And it can also affect how long the cutoff will last as well. So oh, it's very okay. important. Um, it's a very important aspect of a cutoff wheel. Gotcha, gotcha. And what different thicknesses do we at Clingsport offer? So we've got all kinds of different thicknesses. Um, the ones I really want to focus on today are our ultra thin cutoff wheels. Okay. So the three most popular that we sell here are a 16th, so a 1 16th thickness. Okay. That's going to be one of our thicker ultra thins. Then we have the 0.045 or 364. That's in that's kind of in the middle. And then we have our soup, one of the thinnest cutoff wheels on the whole market, coming in at a 32nd of an inch. So that's that is super thin. Uh, so those are the three different ultra thin cutoff wheels. So we have a little bit for um, every application. Gotcha. Um, what's your personal favorite? You know, there's a different application for each one uh, where, you know, you where you would specifically use one for each application. I actually got a great video that we can show that explains all that perfectly. Okay, well, without further ado, let's watch that video. Hey guys, this is EJ, back with you in Clean Spores Tech Lab again. Wanted to talk to you today about three of our ultra thin cutoff wheels. These are actually some of the most popular in our line. And the reason I want to talk about three different ones is because each one is unique. They all have a separate thickness, right? One of them, our first one, is the A980TZ. It is our thinnest cutoff wheel and one of the thinnest on the whole market. This, this thinness and the 80 grit that it comes with leaves you with a super smooth cut and it's also a very fast cut. We suggest using this cutoff wheels on uh, metal sheets uh, roughly around an eighth inch thick and smaller than that. Um, just because of the thinness, we want to make sure that you're safe and not cutting pieces of metal that are too thick. After that, we actually move up to our most popular cutoff wheel, the A960TZ. The 60 grit still gives you a very smooth cut, and the 0.045 thickness is the most popular on the market today, and it also gives you a very fast cut as well. You can actually get up to a quarter inch thick uh, pieces, and, you know, much thicker pieces than you can get to cut with the A980TZ. And then after that, we have our A946TZ. This cutoff wheel is very, very safe. It's very stable when you're cutting. The 46 grit allows you to cut thicker pieces as well as the uh, 16th thickness. So this is actually our longest lasting cutoff wheel. So like I said, these are the most popular, the three most popular uh, thicknesses and uh, sizes that we have. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate those for you guys and check out the cuts that they leave. I always have a good time when I'm cutting. Just a recap, you know, while I'm cut, while I was cutting, the A980 was very fast and, and gave me a very smooth cut. Then I go to the A960TZ and I'm, I get the best of both worlds, right? I get that speed and stability. Then with the A946TZ, I can really 
feel that stability and the wheel I can just tell is going to last a very long time cutting these thick pieces. So thanks for a lot watching. We'll shoot it back upstairs. Yeah, so you see on that video, right, we're really focusing on how thick of the piece of metal your cutting is, and that will help you choose the specific thickness of cutoff wheel you need. I got you, yeah. Um, so I think the video did a great job of explaining all that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, back to the question you were asking me, what's my favorite one? I really like the, uh, the A980 that I talked about there in the, uh, during the video because I just love how fast it cuts and that super smooth cut. And what was the with. thickness on that? So you, really whenever you get into that, you don't want to go anything get thicker than an eighth of an inch. Okay. And is that, is that a safety? What is the, the look at that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, just for safety issues, we don't want it. It's not to say that it won't cut something yeah. um, thicker than an eighth of an inch, but you know, due to safety and the testing, that's where we like to keep it at. Okay, cool. Well guys, that'll wrap up this tech talk. Uh, yeah, if you got any more questions about uh, cutoff wheels, uh, please email us at techtalk at cleansport.com. We're going to continue throughout this year building on our cutoff wheel tech talks. So we will be talking about grit later on this year, and we'll be talking about bond as well. Thanks for watching. I'm EJ Yancey. And I'm Nikolai Patterson.